Hello everybody, welcome back to Sword and Shield. In this one, we're going to show how to get the Galarian Corsola. Now this thing is um, a rare overworld spawn. Uh, as you'll have seen right at the beginning, you just got to kind of look for its grey uh, looking body. It spawns in at 29, we have only got the first three badges, so we're going to try and uh, add this one to our pie. Hopefully it won't go straight down. Otherwise, I'm going to be unhappy. Uh, I can't remember its exact typing, because obviously this is the Galarian form. I don't know if it's water and ghost, or if it's just ghost type. Um, I think that's just to say what it has name. Yes. Uh, let's try a... Training Kiss. I don't want this to go down. I don't want this to be super effective. Peace. Excellent. Um, yep, yeah, you can super effective me. That's fine. We've got plenty of Pokemon in, in the party. Now, the party I've got is uh, a part of our... Um, Ghost type trainer, so that's why this is kind of important in Pokemon Flooring because I'm actually going to be using this probably in my pie. Um, particularly, we can have water type moves because at the be beginning of the game we are going to be um, lacking in water type moves. Please do not critical. Excellent. Okay, ouch. Do you mind? Well, Time to throw a great ball out there. Hopefully this will uh, do the trick and we'll have ourselves a corsola. Excellent. So then, with Corsola caught, let's just go over the, uh, the location of that bad boy. Bad girl, don't know which one we've got. That's both, that's interesting. Uh, so it's just straight up ghost type, that's interesting. Uh, and that is going to be, as you can see, in the Giant's Mirror. So we're a little bit east of Hamlock. Uh, bring it up on town map here. Uh, only appears during the, um, I should probably should say, overcast weather. Uh, so the date format for that, in, if you want to put that into your Switch, is going to be the 1st of March, so 03, 2020. And that is going to get you a Corsola. Uh, so have a bit of patience, it does take a while for it to spawn. Um, I actually couldn't get it to spawn in my Pokemon Sword, so let me know if um, that happens, ends up being the case for you, uh, as I'm, I'm unsure as to whether or not it's a version exclusive. Uh, but either way guys, that is going to be the end of this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.